on guys? Captain Johnny Stabile back uh, for my debut on YouTube. It's been a couple months since I posted a video. If you guys don't know, I'm a full-time guide and I make my living actually by taking people fishing. So sometimes it's hard to film and, uh, you know, and work at the same time, you know, all that. So anyway, I want to introduce something new that I just got uh, to the channel. I'm going to be using it a lot for YouTube and kind of, you know, for me, like I said, being a guide and having my work boat, um, as most of you guys know, I fish out of a Pathfinder full time. Um, it's hard for me to want to take that boat anywhere that it doesn't make me money or where I could potentially ruin or, or you know, damage something on the boat and then, you know, I'm out of, uh, gonna be out of my work. So um, I bought this canoe, it's an LT10 by Custom Canoe. Uh, they're built up in Titusville, Florida, and uh, I just want to do a little quick walk around. This, um, well, first, a couple first things that are really important to the boat, aside from the boat. Got a 45 angle cooler here. Works uh, as a cooler, obviously. We keep, you know, drinks and food, and if we catch some fish, we'll put the fish in here if we're gonna keep the fish. Um, but it more importantly serves as a pulling platform for us so that we can, you know, get up and pull the boat around and really sight fish for some of those reds and bonefish that we're gonna be doing later on on this channel. Um, Got a 20 horsepower Yamaha. It's uh, probably a little oversized for this boat, to be honest, but um, it does a great job pushing it. I actually came up here to pick it up this weekend and I'm fishing with uh, Ryan Morey, who's holding the camera for me. Um, moving on, Carbon Marine Tiller Pillar. This is a 34 inch and I like it because I can stand up on the grab rail and still hold on and I'm not you know, reaching real far back to grab the tiller um, makes it very comfortable. I can sit and kind of put around on this. This is not mounted down yet, by the way. So I'm gonna mount this down eventually. We just were kind of testing it out today. It's kind of the maiden voyage of the boat um, with all the gear on it. Um, so I can sit here comfortably and as we're just kind of putting along to uh, you know other spots and whatnot, got this right here and it's very comfortable. Um, second thing on the boat, carbon marine push pole. This is their 18 foot version of a push pole. Um, made out of carbon fiber, very light, and uh, haven't quite got the technique of pulling this boat really correctly yet because today it's super windy and it's really the first time I've been pulling since uh, I was a kid. Um, moving forward, we have a grab rail. I kind of briefly spoke about it, but this is nice to hold on to when you're going. It's also got a nice little storage box underneath. I can keep my phone, you know, tackle. My Danko pliers are in there as well. It's just kind of easy to grab if I'm up here and fishing. Um, everything's just right here. Moving forward to that, we've got a split and it's full of all of our clothes. It was uh, probably 60 degrees this morning when we got out here, so it was cold. So we've got two container or two compartments. Um, they are separated. There's a, a, you know, it's not all one piece. They, they have a separation there. So I see a lot of guys use one side as a live well and maybe one side as a cooler or just dry storage. And it does do a very good job of keeping it dry. If you see, there's a lip that goes, you know, kind of on this hatch. So when you close it, all that water is gonna fall right off the sides. Um, I'll tell you what I've got in here. Keep our life jackets in here, as well as I've got some power tools because we, I mean, I'm planning on trailering this boat quite a bit. So I've got all the stuff to change the tires, you know, when we're on the road. Um, got our the rest of our safety equipment is in there, a whistle and a fire extinguisher. Um, and some terminal tackle as well. Um, so moving on to the front of the boat, we have our forward casting platform and uh, that cooler is also small enough to fit up here. So if I wanted to, you know, maybe run the trolling motor and sight fish from the front of the boat, I could totally do that. Or if I had a guest on the boat that wanted to, you know, use something higher to stand on, they could do that. Underneath me, we've got our trolling motor battery. This is actually going to be switched out uh, probably this week. I've got, um, well, kind of a big surprise. We've got a, a battery sponsor that's uh, gonna be working with the channel and with me as a guide. Um, move it up a little bit forward. We've got two very important things on the boat. This is a stick it pin and it basically could just, you know, it's, it's holding us here. We're kind of protected by these houses from the wind today. So I figured it'd be a good way to go through the boat with you all. I don't know if you guys can see the custom bracket right there, but the stick it pin fits in there and you know you don't even have to push it down you literally just drop it and it will hold the boat the boat is plenty light enough um 40 
pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor and this thing will push the boat faster than really you need it to be. So I think it's the perfect size. They also make this in a 55, but uh, I think for this boat, it's probably unnecessary. Um, we've got our nav lights up front. We've got a little cleat up front for some line. And that is pretty much the, the gist, or that's the majority of the boat. Um, we're gonna show you some running clips and whatnot as well. And I gotta say for a very skinny, small boat, um, it handles extremely well. So let's uh, get to some running around and, uh, and some fishing. Red? Catfish. Oh no, it's a baby red. Is it? Look. Nice. A little puppy. A little puppy drum. You can see that out of there too. They definitely like the uh No, this is a gulp. Oh, oh, well that's that's definitely why. Look at him, the guy. Hey, hey this we... water's cold, dude. He is, is freezing. I told you if we got one red today, I was going to be stoked. Adorable little red. First red on the Ginu. <laughs> hey, at the gulp. Cute little guy, just freezing cold. All righty. Oh. Calm down, bud. Appreciate your time, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Yeah. Johnny. Dude. Another little red. I'm stoked. <laughs> I don't even care that it's like a rat red or like a little puppy drum or whatever you want to call it. As soon as you put the gulp on though, huh? The gulp was definitely <laughs> the move. Switch from uh, a little swim bait. Yo. Oh, yeah, he is cold. That's what I'm saying. You want to pick? I do want to yeah. picture my first redfish on the new key. It's all good. These look cool. Come You're going to like these. Thanks. Awesome. I'm happy. <laughs>